Every security solution is a delicate balance between providing enough protection while still providing usable access to the right people. One-time passcodes, also known as OTPs, are a popular choice for securing customer accounts because they provide a good level of security while still being a user-friendly option. OTPs are a simple and effective way to verify someone's phone number or email at signup for use cases like ongoing login verification, preventing bots, ensuring deliverability to the right person, and more. Twilio's Verify API is a purpose-built solution for sending one-time passcodes with SMS, voice, email, authenticator apps, and more. I'm gonna show you how to get up and running with a multi-channel one-time passcode application. We'll be using Twilio's APIs in JavaScript for this application, but if you're not a programmer, stick with me. We'll also be making use of Twilio's quick deploy for a fast, no-code launch. To follow along with us, you'll need a Twilio account. If you sign up and upgrade with my referral code, you'll get $10 added to your account. We'll include the link to that in the description. Once you're logged into your Twilio account, head over to the Verify section of the Twilio console and create a new Verify service. The name you choose will show up in the message templates sent via SMS, but don't worry, you can change that at any time. You'll need the Verify service SID to launch your application, so copy that or leave this tab open for later use. Your Verify service is where you can change configuration settings like the passcode length and enable or disable different channels. This is the application we'll be building. It allows us to send and check one-time passcodes via SMS, voice, or email channels. Each of these form fields corresponds to a configuration parameter in the Verify API. First, we select the channel, which defaults to SMS. Next, we provide the phone number or email of the person that we want to verify. Finally, we select the language the verification message will be sent in. This parameter is optional. To launch your own version of this application, head over to Twilio's code exchange. Filter by verify, and the project we want is the first option for me, the one-time passcode verification. Scroll down to the quick deploy section and paste in the verify SID from the verify service that you created in the console and hit deploy. What this is doing is deploying two serverless functions to send and check verification codes using Twilio functions. It's also deploying the HTML interface that we saw before. Now I can send myself a verification code. Depending on where you are, Twilio may use a short code or an alphanumeric sender ID to send the code. These options support higher throughput and faster delivery. The good news is that you as the developer don't have to worry about buying or choosing the sending phone number. That's included in the Verify API. The SMS OTT came through pretty quickly to my phone, and now I can input the code I got on my phone back in the web interface to complete the verification lifecycle. The Verify API knows what the correct passcode is, so you don't have to keep track of that in your application database. The Verify API also handles rate limiting to help make sure your application stays secure. The really cool thing about the code exchange quick deploy projects is that once they're deployed like this, you can edit the code directly in the Twilio console without worrying about setting up your own environment. So as a reminder, Twilio functions that you can see here are part of our serverless code platform, and these are what power the quick deploy projects. You can see there's a mix of JavaScript here in these functions and also some HTML pages. And let's make a few changes to this interface. This interface is the same thing that is powering our login with Twilio Verify page. And I wanna make a couple of changes to update that to better suit our needs. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this email uh, radio button because we're not gonna use that today. So we don't need to, uh, to have that in our interface. And then the next thing that I'm going to do um, for ease of editing, I included some JavaScript right in this um, page here. And one of the things that I'm going to do is edit the preferred countries that show up in the phone number dropdown to be the countries in North America that we might expect our customers to come from. And so that's going to be the US, Canada, and Mexico. And what this will do is update the dropdown menu that we see when somebody decides to change the international telephone input form field. 
And so this is going to deploy and build all of this. Again, Twilio is handling all of this in the background. So now you can see everything is redeployed. If I come back to my project and refresh this page, you'll see that there's no longer an email radio button. And if I drop down here, you can see that there's Canada and Mexico appearing at the top of this page. And so it's really easy to make small and simple changes to your function templates and do that right on the Twilio platform. Another update I wanted to add is something that we see a lot of our customers doing, which is using the Lookup API as a complement to the Verify API. The Lookup API is used for phone number intelligence and fraud prevention. We're using it in this application to filter by countries, but you could also use it to detect a carrier or a line type. I'm in the start verification function here, and I'm going to delete this block of code that disables the call channel and replace that with an allow list of countries. This is a way to filter requests if you're only expecting customers from certain countries. Once I have the allow list, I can make a request to the lookup API to determine if I want to send a verification to that user. Once again, I can save and deploy this. And now if I try to send a verification code from a country that's not in my allow list, like Afghanistan at the top of this list, I'll get an error. You might have noticed that this application doesn't actually protect anything yet. But if you're like me, you like having code to copy and modify. This application gives you the following building blocks. First, and we skipped over this part, but it's really cool. The application uses international telephone input, which is essential for collecting phone numbers in a standard format. You can learn more about processing international telephone numbers on the Twilio blog. We'll drop a link to a blog post that describes the whole process in the description. Second, this application provides a mechanism for sending an OTP via multiple channels. And finally, the application provides a way to check and validate those OTPs that the end user provides. You can use these building blocks to verify users in your application with SMS and voice. The email channel requires a smidge more setup, but we included all of the instructions in the documentation, and we'll have a link to that in the description. We also just launched support for push authentication with the Verify API, so make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Verify content. In the meantime, here's a video that I picked out just for you.